catch him. Use me as your bullet. Make sure you've got a good grip on that. Is there anything Sue can't do? What's this? Then could land so epically, even though it's because his arms are broken. Who are they? My computer is struggling. What's going on? The heroes are in the opening. It does feel like the forest arc is sort of coming to a close and we're gonna take it back out into the world, maybe? While we are trying to protect Kachan, our class What a twist! <laughs> back at camp immediately following What's Mandalay's the twist? Message. Was that the door? I guess Mr. Aizawa is back already. Looks like the woods came to us. Everyone, get back! I feel like you just walked into the wrong classroom. That's the guy who got free Weren't they leaving? You're too slow. Whoa. Oh, interesting. He's a bloodbender. Damn. The two most trusted pillars of the superhuman society are linked together. UA, the pinnacle of hero education. Right. And All Might, the symbol of peace. Right. But embarrassing incidents have damaged the world's trust in you both. People are so shaken that they've almost lost all faith in you. That's true. You know, I feel like it's one of those cases of live by the sword, die by the sword. If you are getting what you want through imagery, let's say, or through symbols, what's to stop the villains from doing exactly the same thing? All Might and other heroes have done a great job playing to people's emotions. And there is some part of it that's at least a little bit manipulative, although that's not exactly the best word for it. So in a sense, they, they created the seeds of their own destruction, especially with All Might, you know, fading out. And I feel like this is a real thing. Like people will capitalize so heavily on like story and spin. People correctly know that emotion is one of the best ways to reach people and influence people. And you gotta be careful with that, right? You gotta be careful relying on that, even if you think your purpose is for the good, because that in itself is not the good, right? It's just a tool for your own your own ends and anyone can exploit that tool. And on the other side of that, I feel like it's really important for people to be aware of the fact that having a strong emotion for a thing or feeling really good about a thing does not make that thing necessarily good. That often ideologies are just packaged that way and they're very effective. Because it can be really seductive to fall in love with the symbolism of the thing, the sentiment behind the thing, without looking at that the really difficult, nitty gritty stuff that you know a lot of the time is where the where the magic happens. So there's room in the society. I think speaking of like societal movements, last episode for a little bit less of like this picture, this beautiful picture that's being painted, because that that just leaves people vulnerable when they're trained to think that way. Imagine how they'll react when they find out you let a student get kidnapped. Oh yeah, that's really bad PR. Not our classmates. <laughs> All right, Ida. <laughs> It's no use, hey. <laughs> That's the proper reaction to Aizawa. Trying to provoke you, he won't talk. Quirk uh, stomping. Aizawa, I think you got him. Yeah. You look at him, another Oh my god, he stomped him into I've mush. One before. Oh. <laughs> I left to direct our defense, but I ended up taking care of Koda. Look after him while oh, I no. go back to the front line. <laughs> Koda feels responsible for a lot of things. If there aren't many, then we should be fighting too. Yes, you need strength and numbers. No. Well, that settles that. We know about Bakugo, but they might be targeting others as well. Not Invisible Girl, though, probably. The only way we win this is by making sure you students are protected. I like how consistent all their scars are in the show from their previous battles. That's cool. <laughs> My arms are burning. Oh no, poor Shoji. His arms can't catch a break. You know he's powerful because he's got Pokeballs on his wrists. I've been thinking since I saw you that you'd be Five minutes so ago. cuter if you just bled a little more. Why don't you become more like Deku and less like Stan? Shoji is really shining in these episodes. She's crazy. <laughs> Everyone has the same correct reaction to her. I'm not sure what your quirk is, but it had to do with those little marbles, right? The ones you'd stashed in your pocket. Do you know how to get them out, though? They were so proud of themselves for rooting through my pockets that I thought I'd let them gloat. <laughs> But allow me to explain a basic tenant. Sleight of hand. Sleight of hand. I'm flaunting something shiny. It's sleight of hand. It's because there's something else I don't want you to see. Magic. <laughs> oh, they're they're really in there. <laughs> Forgive me. I do so adore a twist ending. You can't. That's do the twist, this! huh? One last bow, and then the curtain falls. This guy's a real hand. <gasps> you just came with a tummy beam. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment. Oh, Yama of all people. I kind of want him to take him, though. Take him. Just take him. Take someone. Yeah. Yeah, have fun with him. Have fun with Bakugo in your, in your compound or whatever. Clingy much? <laughs> yeah, so they won, but also they didn't. It's just kind of an L. 
I'm mean, considering what happened though, considering the surprise attack and everything, the fact that they were totally caught off guard and that these actually were legit villains. They have a lot to be proud of, even if it doesn't feel that way. Oh, yeah, and also, yeah, I guess there's this. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't be celebrating. We were aiming to be heroes, but we failed. It's an oversimplified takeaway. It doesn't feel good, that's true, but I mean, they crushed it. 15 were unconscious and in serious condition due to Damn. the gas. Eleven others sure says dead. Thirteen were unharmed, physically. One of us was missing. One of the six bro heroes was in serious condition because oh, good. of a blow to the head. She's One alive. No! As I felt myself fading into unconsciousness, Damn, look at his arm. I remembered the harrowing words Tomura Shigaraki said to me. He warned them, yeah. I'll likely have to kill you. I feel like they're gonna be good friends. <laughs> At some point. Well, they got to practice their quirks. Let's look on the bright the side. These reporters need to chill. Just stop. Has anyone been in contact with the families of the children you've allowed to be endangered? Playing right into the villain, villain's hands. That training camp was meant to prepare students to handle villain attacks. The irony is shameful. We knew the League would resurface, but we lacked a fundamental understanding of their plans. They aim to destroy hero society. They're organized now. I think that's the big difference. All might put an end to most organized crime. We're all rusty. We've definitely gotten it's a huge during peaceful time power vacuum. Realizing it. Due to I guess all Might's weakness. Down, all of us thought that we'd be riding the sweet life for good. It's never how that goes. Oh no. Oh no. Ignorance. He's not looking so hot. I mean, it is really not his fault. But I sympathize. He was not here. Though I feel like this kind of thing is always a step too far. You know, like you can never blame yourself for reacting imperfectly to something that was not your fault. You know what I mean? Like circumstance is usually the leader in these things. In this case, the, it was the villains who did the wrongdoing, you know? So even though that might not sound like the most useful of a point, I, I do feel like there's something there where you don't want to over internalize the evil actions of others or just like bad circumstances in general. All Might definitely didn't fail anybody, even though I understand why he feels that way. Success can't be defined as things working out. Success is probably better defined as making the best choice you knew how to make at that time. A lot of the time, good choices end badly. It doesn't mean they weren't good choices. And alternatively, sometimes bad choices have good results. It doesn't make them bad choices. I think maybe a more productive way of looking at it is what was your process? Did you stick to your process? Are there areas which your process could improve rather than just being so results oriented all the time? Focusing on results Results, I feel like, gives you less power just because just inevitably there are so many things outside of our control. Focusing on a process or like guidelines takes some of that power back, at least a little bit. All Might does have mistakes in this process, but it wasn't getting relaxation. It wasn't trusting the students and teachers to go on a summer camp. But, you know, that's sort of his thing, you know, ultimate personal sacrifice to the plus ultra extreme. They've taken Bakugo and society's faith in heroes away from us. I agree. Every news outlet is currently... <laughs> the way he's saying this so cheerfully. If he ends up joining the side of the villains, that will be the end of UA as a Nah, student. he won't. That would be failure to him. He doesn't want that. There's a traitor at this school. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Only the teachers and the pussycats... Right. The that's weird. Would be. What a twist. Stop but this, Mike. What's the problem? He's just, you know, he's just saying leaders. ideas, yeah. Could be you for all we know. Oh, no. If we start doubting each other, we'll destroy ourselves from the Yes, inside. there you go. This is a good time to implement something I've wanted to put in place for a while. Oh, no. See, I... Oh, no. This is scary. <laughs> I forgot to make that my ringtone. What symbol of peace can't even keep his students safe? Oh, no. He really slides into this, doesn't he? When he starts going, he, he really goes... All the way. Self-blame plus ultra. We finally finished taking comprehensive statements from Aizawa and Vlad King. I feel safe knowing that cat officers in the case. About two weeks ago, I sent an officer around to gather information. Told you. Told you. Cat officer on the case. We need your power. I feel like he's oh kind of done. Still there? He's just not Tsukuchi. looking good. You're a wonderful friend. And I know there you just go. Rally all my... when I find Yes, it. there you go. <laughs> I am here. Yes. To make you pay for what you've done. I love it. Let's go with that. The Little Thunders behind the UA High training camp attack have called themselves the League of Villains Vanguard Act. Oh no, this unfortunate name is public now. Perfectly obvious to me that there's some sort of problem with UA's current management. Everyone's got to have an opinion. Everyone's got to weigh in. None of you are involved. I'm so good. Yes, chess game actually not going too bad. Publicity lately. Moving pieces. Isn't it nice? Katsuki Bakugo. That is the most quiet I've ever seen Bakugo. I was sure he was going to tell someone to die. It's almost creepy when he's quiet. Hey, Midoriya, good, you're finally awake. 
Did you see the news? Reporters are all over the school right now. He's the kind of guy I want to visit me in the hospital. You know what I mean? I mean it's from all of us. It's a melon. Hey, we like melons around here. Jiro and Hagakure are still out. They were knocked unconscious still. from that villain's poisonous gas. And Yayorozu took a pretty bad hit to the head. She's hospitalized here. Though I just found out she finally woke up yesterday. So it's just us. Though obviously we wish the whole class could be here. We need like a spiritual or emotional leader right now. Everyone's so down. I was so close to being able to save him. I... Come on, someone step up. Him. Emotional leader. I had to. Who's it That's gonna be? the entire reason I have my court. Todoroki? It's exactly Tokoyami? Like said to me. Chaco? I couldn't save someone who was right in front of me. I mean, you literally had no arms. They were <laughs> flapping behind you in the feels... breeze. All right, then let's go get him. Hey, look at this guy. There you go. Aizawa said you lacked the self-confidence and judgment needed to make quick decisions. Well, look how much you've grown. <laughs> you have our thanks, Yayu Rosa. Cute. Never miss the opportunity to recognize growth. It's frustrating that I can't help you more than this. But it is really cool, actually. I think I mentioned that in the last episode, how it does feel like a very direct result of her training with Aizawa. You know, because he's just the best teacher of all time. And <laughs> he always recognizes the potential of his students. And he knows how to cut right to it. I hate it. That painful feeling just is play your role. She played it really well. Being a hero. Yeah. Please don't worry. You can leave the rest to us. I really think this is one of the growing themes of the show. It's that it, it can't just be single hero doing everything. These are the future heroes. It's not just Deku. It's Deku plus squad. You should listen to what All Might said. We have to leave this to the professionals. It's not the right time for us to get involved. <laughs> He's swinging back in the direction pretty hard. I heard my friend was targeted, and I just stood. Oh no, we got a civil war situation on our hands. So if I stand by and do nothing, I was just talking about class unity. How am I supposed to call myself a hero or a man? Just listen to me for oh, a no. minute. Oh no! I know what you're saying is right, but still, come on, Midoriya. He's still within your reach. I'm not sure this was the emotional or spiritual leadership I was talking about. Step what the what the what? Are you serious? I was getting pumped that Kirishima was the one to step up, but I did not expect it to go there. I kind of like it though. I mean, I am not against the rules, the hero rules, after, you know, having thought about it after what happened with Ida. But I like the spirit at least. You know, I think just something about that feels like a good coping mechanism. Even if that's not the right action, it's not the right thing. The why are we sitting around feeling is something that I respect. Though this is a very real danger of that where you don't want to be impulsive. It's just for me, I, I really can't solve my problems, my emotional problems, let's say, through thought. It just doesn't work for me. I think some people can do that, but I have very limited success in that way. Or when I do have success, it's kind of temporary. It feels like a band-aid rather than like a deep fix. What helps me way more is taking action. No matter how small, that immediately forces me out of the emotion into like the real world. And one of the greatest benefits of that is that so many times the, the emotions or the things I have fear or sadness or anxiety about are not based on the reality. They're based on my reflections of reality, which are totally limited. So there's something very wasteful about all that rumination and anxiety. And to me, sort of seems to defeat the purpose of thinking through things anyway, because we never have the full story. Things are rarely as they fully appear to us. But this represents a very real danger of that, which is that you can end up being really impulsive. Like, I'm a very impulsive person. And quite often, I come to regret some of the actions I took towards ameliorating that, that inner conflict, inner problem. It can be very difficult to tease that out. So it's sort of a mixed bag. I guess it also represents a danger for Deku. Like, he deeply cares about well, everyone, but especially Bakugo, and you know he wants to go after them. And funnily, Ida doesn't himself seem convinced that, that waiting is the right thing to do. He is saying that based on the fact that he's been burned from that, but it didn't feel truly authentic. You know, he's like battling it out within himself while saying it. Understandably so. So the villains are winning this sort of like symbolic war, not only in society at large, but with the heroes themselves. You know, this was more than just a, a military defeat or whatever. It's a moral defeat. And they've been so used to like praise and adulation for all their, their hard work. Now they're sort of in the spotlight in, in a very negative way. Although that's more the administration than the students themselves. So anyway, that was the forest arc. I think that for me, I didn't enjoy it as much starting out as a lot of other people seem to enjoy it. But I think it really, really was amazing in the last couple episodes. Once I started to get into the villains, that's when things flipped for me. And once the students are getting featured more heavily, not only as individuals, but more importantly as pairs and even as groups, I feel like that's where it really took life. And it feels like a big turning point in a lot of ways because we've had fights, but this had a feeling of like being alone. Even though the students are together, that authority support was lacking. Like Aizawa was there, but you know, he was taking care of uh, Koda. Notably, All Might wasn't there, which is a huge vacuum in terms of, you know, confidence that they can pull through. And so they're transitioning into this much faster than they feel ready for, which is kind of exciting. And so now we take this to the streets, I guess, and it's not just the villains that we've now developed a certain degree, 
but with Shigaraki, which is really cool. Funnily enough, I guess in this episode, there are two parallel scenes that are opposite each other. You have the heroes sort of squabbling. I mean, not really, but you know, they're not united. Oh, and also you have the teachers kind of like doubting each other and not trusting each other about, you know, who's the insider. But then you have these villains who are like hanging out. You know, they seem actually kind of tight especially considering, you know, how they first got together when they were just bickering and trying to kill each other. So definitely a shift in tone between the two camps. It's really fun. So what a twist. Ah, what a twist. Get it? That's the twist, right? Is it? So that's the end of episode seven. Before the video ends, I got to give a very, very long overdue. Thank you to all my patients for all the support, for making these series possible, for allowing me to try out new new series randomly, and just for being your, your awesome selves in general. I really could not do this without you guys. Personal shout out to those who joined the top tier on Patreon. Gabriel Barat, Alex Williams, Madison Martin, F4JD, Kelvin, and Adrian Ash. Thank you to you. Thank you to all patrons. Thank you to everybody watching, everybody for supporting, for being so awesome. Love you guys deeply. <laughs> that sounds weird to say, but, and I'll see you guys for the next video.